Hi, Mr. Devlin here, and today I want to talk about World War II guns. And why do I want to do that? Because if the leaks are true, the next Battlefield game is going to be based on World War II. And I thought it'd be a bit of fun to see what guns were used in World War II that are still active today. World War II ended over 70 years ago, but many of the guns used in this time period are still being used by military police and civilian shooters all over the world. Here are my top 10 guns from World War II that are still in use today. World War II was one of the largest conflicts in human history, involving millions of soldiers fighting much of the world. Even though the war ended many decades ago, there are a number of guns from World War II that were so effective that they have stood the test of time and are still in use today. Some of these guns from World War II are still being used by the military or insurgent forces in ongoing conflicts all over the world. Others are used by police forces and civilian shooters for recreational shooting and hunting. Regardless of their current use in the world today, the guns from World War II on my list are still commonly found in the hands of shooters all over the world due to one primary reason. They're extremely effective firearms. First on the list is a Lee Enfield. The Lee Enfield rifle was a primary weapon used by the British and the Commonwealth soldiers in World War II. Originally chambered for the 303 British cartridge, the Lee Enfield was also known for being both accurate and powerful. The rifle is also quite reliable, durable and reasonably priced. Because of this, the Lee Enfield rifle is commonly found in the hands of shooters and hunters all over the world, including the United States. However, it is especially plentiful in countries with a strong British influence, like Canada, where it's being replaced as a primary weapon used by the Canadian Rangers. South Africa and Australia also use the weapon. The PPSH-41 Shooting the same 7.62 by 25 mm round as the Tokarev and the CZ-52 pistols, the PPSH-41 is a rugged submachine gun that was widely used by the Soviet Union in World War II. Though it was only effective at short range, the PPSH-41 gave individual Soviet soldiers an incredible amount of firepower. Millions were produced during the war and the Soviet Union helped spread them all over the world to arm communist forces over the following decades. Thousands of PPSH-41 submachine guns are still in wide use by military and insurgent forces all over the world especially in war-torn areas of the Middle East and Africa. The M1 Garand Firing the venerable 0306 Springfield cartridge, the M1 Garand was the standard rifle for American soldiers and Marines in World War II and Korea, called the greatest battle implement ever devised by General George Patton. The semi-automatic M1 Garand gave American fighting men a bigger leg up on their opponents. Even though it was officially replaced by the M14 in the 1950s and 60s, the M1 Garand is still a common sight in the collections of shooters and hunters all over the United States. With 6 million produced, they're also not hard to find and reasonably priced. Garands can still be purchased all over the US. The Browning High Power Pistol even though it's not widely known as a World War II weapon, the following high-power pistol was actually extensively used on both sides of the war. The Germans captured the FM manufacturing plant where they invaded Belgium in 1940 and subsequently armed portions of their military with the high-powered pistols produced there for the duration of the war. The Allies used the original FM blueprints to produce the pistols in Canada after Belgium was overrun. Canada, Belgium and the nationalist Chinese used the pistol for their regular armed forces. The high-powered pistol was also popular with the British SOE, SAS and certain airborne units. The high power is still in production and is widely used by military and police forces as well as civilian shooters in every corner of the globe. The Mosin Nagant 
The Mosin Nagant was a primary rifle used by the Russian and Soviet soldiers of World War I and II, with nearly 40 million Mosin Nagant rifles produced. It should not be surprising that these rifles are still commonly used all over the world. Though very simple in design, the rifle is very durable and effective. Due to their simple design and the sheer number of them produced, they are also very inexpensive. They usually go for about $100 to $250 in the United States. The Carabiner 98K A development of the legendary Mauser 1898, the Carabiner 98K was the main service rifle of the German army in World War II. Millions were produced and the Carabiner 98K was extensively used in every corner of the European theatre of operations by the Germans. Countless rifles were captured by the Soviets, which they also used during portions of World War II and in subsequent conflicts. Due to the fact that millions were produced, as well as their durable design and reasonable price, the Carabiner 98K rifles still pop up in various conflicts in the world today. Sporterized versions are also quite popular with shooters and hunters in Europe and the Americas. The 1903 Springfield until it was replaced by the M1 Garand and the M1 Carbine, the 1903 Springfield was still a relatively common used rifle by the American military at the beginning of World War II. Even after the M1 Garand was fully in service, the 1903 Springfield, which was also chambered with the .306 Springfield, it was still used extensively by the American snipers in World War II and Korea. Because it was such an accurate rifle, the 1903 is still popular among gun collectors, shooters and hunters in the United States. The M1911 pistol. Originally adopted by the United States in 1911, the M1911 pistol was used extensively by all branches of the United States military in every conflict since World War I while it was replaced by the Beretta M9 in the 1980s as a standard sidearm of all branches of the military, certain special operating units in the military still use the M1911, which makes it the longest lived service weapon in the history of the United States. Countless police forces in the United States still use the M1911, and it's also one of the most popular handguns in the country among civilian shooters. The M1 Carbine Though the M1 Garand was the primary service rifle for the United States military in World War II, millions of the M1 Carbines were produced and issued to support personnel such as radio operators, truck drivers and artillery crews. The M1 Carbine was also widely used in Korea and Vietnam. Since the military officially phased out the M1 carbine, many of them have made their way into the hands of gun collectors and shooters. While it shoots a relatively anemic 0.3 carbine cartridge, it is still quite popular among shooters and hunters because it's inexpensive, lightweight and has a mild recall. The M2 machine gun Designed by the legendary gun designer John Browning and affectionately known as the Marduce, the M2 heavy machine gun is the oldest machine gun currently in production anywhere in the world. The M2 was widely used by land, naval and air forces in World War II. Firing the .5 BMG, which stands for Browning Machine Gun Cartridge, which was specially designed for the M2 machine gun, the Marduce has a fearsome reputation for long-range accuracy and incredible power. In addition to being used by infantry forces mounted on a tripod, variants of the N2 machine gun have also been used in aircraft, mounted on wheeled and tracked vehicles, and some have even been fitted with a telescopic scope and used for long-range sniper work. Indeed, the famous sniper Carlos Hatcock used the M2 machine gun to make his longest confirmed kill in Vietnam. The M2 is still in production and used by the United States military, along with dozen other nations. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe and press that bell icon ticket so you get notifications of when we're posting new videos. And this is Mr. Devlin out.